we lost a lot of people due to sleeping sickness, which is known as Mongota in some of these places where we are today. And uh, the SESE have really hindered the development of many areas, such that if the SESE is removed, then the other hosts will benefit from which are livestock and not survive in the areas which have a lot of sesame because they are the source of uh, disease called Nagana in the livestock. So because of that, the country has been battling to really keep the people safe from sleeping sickness as a disease, but also to keep the animals safe in many areas. So it has the vector control, it has the human disease control, and also the livestock disease control. In the 80s, this disease was so rampant, especially in Usoga here and in Teso, and the government found it fitting to make an agency that will be responsible in controlling this disease to limit the suffering of the people in the lives and livestock pain. Currently, we have worked and we are able, we can confidently say, we have moved towards the elimination of the disease in human. Because in the last 20 months, which is almost two years, we've had only one case and no death. So after realizing that we are now, we've eliminated the human side of the disease, this agency now decides to concentrate on eliminating the livestock disease. That is going to be our focus in the next five years. 70% of animal diseases, I mean of human diseases, are of animal origin. So we shall continue to work with the Minister of Health to make sure as the Minister responsible for, for disease control in livestock, that we do it just right from the farm up to table, especially for food chain, but also to ensure that the livestock we keep in farm controlled areas are free from disease. Modify to the new technology. This is